Hi, I'm Mrs. Stevens at Pendleton Heights High School, and this is my classroom. But as you can see, it only has four walls. Yes, we have access to the internet. Yes, we have access to textbooks. Um, but with a few VR headsets, we can actually go to Greece and look at these incredible um, ancient sites. Um, we have learned all about the Olympics. We have learned all about the Greek gods. We've learned about democracy. We've learned about the culture. Um, you know, we try to have some kinesthetic um, activities for the kids, but the most incredible way that we could reach all of our students is to take them on virtual field trips. Um, so we were going to try to ask for a grant to get these headsets. Um, and another thing, another thing that we want to do with the headsets is possibly create other units with our history department that would go along with our English department and to try to make sure um, we talk to other districts nearby about the insanely cool things we're doing for the students. Like I said in the application, I was able to take students um, 5,000 miles away to Greece to um, see the Parthenon, the Acropolis, um, all of the museums and stuff like that. But obviously we cannot afford that for every student. But if we could show them the incredible technology that's available out there, um, they might get inspired to go on a trip around the world instead of using their technology just for, you know, games and social media, stuff like that. Like we want them to be curious learners. The book is incredible, but if we could just get them to actually see the Cape of So Union, you know, the Temple of Zeus, all of these things would tie into teaching the Odyssey. We could show them the Mediterranean. We don't just have to talk about it. Um, you know, we could show them all of these incredibly beautiful islands and it would cost the students nothing. Um, and for as long as this equipment worked in our high school, all of the students could come in and see this. Um, and we would use it in stations in our classroom. Currently, we have four to five teachers teaching the freshmen about this mythology. Both honors class and regular English 9 would use these materials. Um, but you would be making a lasting impact on our community because kids would not stop talking about how much they love school that day and how curious they are about things that we're learning in class.